Thierry Aparou uh, worked for Venturi team in Formula E, but uh, also uh, for Venturi in uh, other categories and in other uh, very important records that Venturi made uh, usually since uh, some years. And now um, she has some news in uh, this uh, uh, Battersea Park in London about something that happened in USA. Good morning. Good morning. So uh, effectively, we are the current holder of the lane speed record. I mean, the world record uh, with our streamliner, which is called VBB 2.5. We have reached 495 kilometers per hour. With the new car, the VBB 0.3, we want to be we want to be over around 600 kilometers per hour. So. We are going to try to reach this target in August in the USA, in Utah, uh, on the Salt Flats, which, which is a, a desert. And we are going to, to try to be as fast as we can with an, a full electric car, which is 3,000 horsepower. And in reality, this uh, uh, top speed you wanted to uh, reach last year, but the weather was uh, help, not help you and, and, and will be this year. Yes, we hope so, because two years in a row, in fact, the car is ready since 2013. Uh, in summer, we've been flooded. The first time it was in September 2013. So we decided to come earlier in August to try to do this record. So last year it was um, in August uh, 2014. We came and we've been flooded uh, for the second time. Uh, terrible storms each day, uh, each day, and um, we were unable to to race because we need a 12 miles long track in order to be able to take our speed, do our record and then to stop the car. We need six miles to stop the car with three parachutes before braking with the pedal. So we need to have a long, long, long straight in order to make it work. And you told me before informally that two weeks ago you have been in USA and with the first test of the car, of the new car. Yes, because um, our team is always improving the car in order to be first very safe uh, for the driver, then very fast to make a, a record. So um, we have done some changes and uh, we are testing uh, in Ohio where the car is built uh, on a very special track. We are testing the car at low speed between 100 and 200 kilometers per hour in, a, in, a, in, a, in order to see if um, everything is working well and uh, if the car is good. Um, so we are very happy with, with what we have done uh, so far. We are going to test uh, I think four or six times uh, in July and then we'll go to the Soul Flats. We'll be on the Soul Flats from uh, the 5th or the 6th of uh, August in order to train uh, during the speed week. Then from the 17th of August we are, we are going to, uh, to try to make our first attempt. Uh, we have five days to uh, set up a record. And in the last race of Moscow, you told me also informally, we speak a lot, always very much, a lot. That, uh, <laughs> uh, that is very complicated to organize this record, because you have to organize all things, uh, not only the car, but also the logistics, the people, the, the, um, the logistic cars, the transport of people in the middle of the desert. There are uh, any, any, any home there, any hotel, anything is absolutely in the desert. You know, how is Yes, we are in the desert, so the, the, the closer town is like four or five miles from the place, no, six or seven miles from the place where we are competing. So we set up a camp uh, in the middle of nowhere. Uh, FIA comes and make a track, and so we can run on, the, on this track, but it's true, we have to bring everything. We have to bring a team, 20 people. We have to bring our uh, streamliner, which is a car which is over three tons, 3.5 tons, um, all the logistics in order to have uh, the car working, I mean uh, the charger to recharge the car, uh, all the tools, uh, everything like in a garage like we are here for a much more longer car. Included electronics, Wi-Fi, internet and system telemetry and all things. Everything. We have to bring everything and we have to live there during uh, three weeks and sometimes we sleep on the desert in the camp 
uh, because um, when we are we are we are not sure with the weather, we prefer to be there in order to protect the car if we need. Uh, so it's uh, yes, it's like a, a small village which is uh, built for three weeks, and we are living there, going uh, back and forth to the town in order to sleep. But we are we have a cooker, so we are uh, eating in the morning for breakfast at noon and uh, in the evening on that place and uh, we have really living there our life during three, we three weeks is dedicated to the car but you speak about cooking i think that the italian people that work in the team can help because you know in italy <laughs> they are very, very good uh, uh, cooked I and i think that giorgio rizzoni and matilda yes. and giovanni <laughs> can help you so giorgio is a uh, is the head of uh, the center for automotive research which is um, from the Ohio State University, uh, the place where um, engineers uh, are teached. And so uh, Giorgio is with us each summer, and each summer he does for us uh, pasta, uh, <laughs> very good one, especially uh, his uh, matriciana um, uh, recipe, which is very good, very spicy, but very good. And so, um, yes, it's very funny because we have to spend time with that car in the middle of nowhere. So sometimes we have nothing to do because we have to wait for, for weather condition, for um, the car to be ready, etc. So we cook, we play football, I mean soccer, like in Europe. Uh, we play frisbee, um, we are training also. A lot of us are going to make run or to uh, to go and trail uh, in the mountains which are around so it's a it's a life dedicated to car to our car but sometimes we have like some vacations uh, for a few hours and uh, that's very cool uh, now uh, okay no, now this is uh, about the formula e this is the uh, last two races here in battersea park in london uh, at first i wish you and good uh, luck for this Thanks. record in uh, salt uh, in, in, uh, on the in the yeah, flats, and uh, I would like to know what you think about the last race in Moscow, where for the first time uh, Venturi uh, arrived to the podium with Nick Eiffel, and uh, also how the, you prepare the, the, the team for these two races here in London. So uh, we were very happy with Moscow for sure because we are running after a podium since the first race, because uh, you can remember that what happened in the first race, and we were about to do something so big and we had nothing at the end so uh, it says also that we have a lot of bad luck since uh, the beginning of the season which is true starting from the Beijing it says starting from Beijing for sure and uh, so we were very happy because it was a, a great relief to uh, achieve that uh, and now we want to show to everybody it was not an accident it was not just like that uh, <laughs> And uh, we see that since uh, the first race in May in Monaco. At home. At home, yes, for sure. Uh, we are improving a lot. And for the two last race we have here in London, we would like to show that we have achieved something. And uh, we would like to be for sure again on the podium. Uh, do you think that uh, Stefan Saracen, after the not good uh, 24 hours of Le Mans, can be a little bit down uh, in, your, in, in your ideas about races? No, I don't think so. Uh, you know him and, and you know Nick is the same. They, are not, they can be affected by a bad result, but when they are on the race, they are focused and they are only concerned by winning the race. So they stop to think about what happened before, uh, and they are just focused on their job and what they have to do. So uh, they believe in the car, uh, they believe in their team, and they want to be uh, to be very ready to do that. So no, for sure, I don't think it's going to be affected by uh, Le Mans results. About the second season with liberaliza liberalization of powertrain, Venturi has made uh, some tests yet with the new car in some places or not yet? Uh, so it's a, a bit secret, but uh, we can say that um, we have a car, and uh, this car is gone on the track, yes. And no more. And no more. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Thierry, and uh, good luck here in London. Thanks.